When someone's heart stops pumping blood, the earlier you give CPR, the better chance they have of surviving. But for most casualties, CPR alone isn't enough. Sometimes it's an abnormal rhythm that causes the heart to suddenly stop pumping blood. The person collapses, becomes unresponsive and stops breathing normally. A public access defibrillator, or just defibrillator, is a machine that can read or analyse the heart rhythm and tell you if an electric shock is needed to stop the abnormal rhythm. Defibrillators can now be found in lots of public places and they're known as public access defibrillators. So if one is available, ask someone to bring it while you begin CPR. Let me show you how this works. I've got the defibrillator. The ambulance is on its way. Keep doing the CPR while I attach the pads. As soon as the defibrillator arrives, turn it on and follow its instructions. It will tell you what to do. Some defibrillators turn on automatically when you lift the lid. Others require you to push the on button. Follow the prompts, but try to avoid interrupting the CPR as much as possible. Peel off the pad labelled 1 and stick to the bare skin of the patient, exactly as shown in the picture. Peel off the pad labelled 2 and stick to the bare skin of the patient, exactly as shown in the picture. Defibrillators are very simple to operate and have been designed for any member of the public to use safely and effectively without any previous training. Do not touch the patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. If the defibrillator finds a heart rhythm that can be helped with a shock, it will tell you to push the shock button. Shock advised. Stay clear. And clear. Press the flashing orange button now. Shock delivered. Begin CPR now. CPR is frequently still required after the defibrillator has given its shock and must be started when the defibrillator prompts you without delay. Continue until you see obvious signs of life or the defibrillator tells you to stop so it can reanalyze the heart rhythm. Just keep following its commands until the casualty moves or breathes normally.